So, I mean, they often pick someone who balances their mm -hmm. strength and weakness. I think it's just about the same. We have uh, Senator, Senator McCain in terms of age and experience. Then we have the freshness of Sarah Palin. Same holds mm -hmm. true for Barack Obama. Yeah. Who's, uh, being regarded as one very fresh and very yeah. young, and then we have Joe Biden, who's an older, o older, seasoned. more more seasoned no, politician. The, but traditionally, Americans don't vote that much on mm. the basis of the vice president. But Nam, isn't it exciting to have Sarah Palin join the race all of a sudden? <laughs> uh, well, it sort of added like, new life right, to that campaign. Right. I mean, I, you I, know, it's a great co collection of candidates. It, it I mean, gave. I have to say, the whole election for me has been exciting, mm -hmm. and all sorts of new things. Um, you know, the use of the internet, the use of YouTube yes, by candidates. Yes. You know, it's just a very new world, as you right. say, not only the showbiz angle, but today's stuff, you know, it's really amazing. Right, right, right. And you see a lot of um, uh, comedies yeah. and, and YouTube, everything. You can Google pictures and... And, and you know, internet campaigning, internet ads. Right, right. You know, my system is registered in the U.S. When I turn on my personal mm -hmm. email, I get ads for both <laughs> candidates. <laughs> First thing that pops up. Right, right. By the way, yeah. We're, all, not, we're not only electing the president and the vice, we're also electing the members of the House of Representatives. And At the same the time. Third of the Senate. Mm. So oh, it's a okay. big election for Simultaneous us. Simultaneous mm -hmm. you know, president, it's a huge vice president. But how many members of Congress? One third, I think. It's all of Congress. All of Congress. Congress is mm. all, and, and then it's a third of the Senate. I see. So, you know, this is a big transition for us. You know, and we'll all obviously be watching Election Day. Right, right. And, oh, and I'll tell you something I will predict. I won't know who wins. But I will predict to you that before the end of the day on election day, one of the two will concede. You know, that's very American. Oh, right. very American. Right. 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 That's just beautiful. That's it right. is nice. Right. The right. loser, and I can tell you how that speech will go right now. They will say, I have just called yeah. my opponent to congratulate him, wish that's him well. We ran a great campaign. Now we're going mm -hmm. forward as one country. Right, right. That's, yeah, that's, that's one thing that's really very you know, admirable. You know, that's one of the things that I really admire about uh, that's very admirable, presidential right. candidates mm -hmm. in the U.S. They concede right, gracefully, right. and they, right, right, right. you know, they, they ask the people to get united behind right. the. But you know, next that's very evident, to. even in the first time that Hillary yeah. Clinton. Hillary Clinton, uh, right, great Hillary Clinton, example. She, yes, great example. And but even, you know, if they don't do that in the United States, it's political suicide. People okay. will not elect someone who is not a good loser. Mm -hmm. exactly. Doesn't show interest in the national right. issues. It, you know, doesn't show some sense of the nation first. It, it right. was so so much significant in the case of Al Gore because he lost yeah. by, uh, by but, a but, thin, thin but line. But came out and but conceded. This right. is over. Conceded. It's finished. Oh, in the guy arena, pag natalo, deny it. Well, win some, you lose some. On a personal note, Lam, uh, do you have any? Uh, do you have a candidate already? Well, you know, I'm actually that percentage of undecided voters. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Very I, diplomatic of you. Well, but I've <laughs> never been no. either a Republican right. or a Democrat, so I always, you know, pick and choose. Mm. And uh, admittedly, I'm getting down to the wire now, mm. so pretty soon I'm going to have to pick. No, but you're one of those rarity that served under the Democratic uh, regime, mm. if you will, and, and transition yeah, I'm, from I'm, Democrat to the Republican. Yeah, I'm, I'm very neutral on that. I work mm -hmm. for whoever's the president. Right. And I like some things of both parts of the political parties, mm. so... I usually just vote for the candidate. Right, right. And they got you because of your uh, attack. Another and serious question. Yeah. Yeah. I, just, I just have to put that in. Very, very serious. Are you going to invite me and Georgia for your mock election? Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Thank you. We will do that. Every but, but can I tell you, it's different this year. This year, we're going to do our election watch at Mall of Asia. Mm -hmm. oh. Because we want lots of people to right. be able to see. Mm -hmm. So Vice, just inviting some people in the embassy, we're going to do it at Mall of Asia. Great. So lots of the Philippines can share. We'll obviously have good live TV feed, mm -hmm. and so lots of people. You can do some stand-ups from there. <laughs> oh, sure. sure Bring your sure. desk. Exactly. You do some you know, every, every four years, the, the U.S. Embassy invites uh, Filipinos, like, like all of us, to, to come up and sign in the mock election form. So mm -hmm. we're all this year we're going to be doing some electronic voting. Yes. You get a little mm -hmm. button that says, I voted. Great. So it'll be yeah. a lot of fun. So we'll see mm -hmm. who the Filipinos vote for. Here, that'll be November 5th. Because, uh -huh. of course, it's right, the evening right, of right, November right. 4th in the United States, so here it'll be the morning of November 5th. Ambassador Christy Ooh, Kenny on a good night show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Next week, man, huh? Okay, that's next week. week. Yeah. Next week. Yeah. Next week. Yeah. November 4th. It's, it's a few weeks. days, a it's a few days from now. Well, yeah, close. Yeah. Okay, Coming uh, right up. Well, before we go, before we let you go, I know you're very, very busy. There's just one thing that uh, we just need to offer you uh -oh, we okay. have, uh, as a gift. Uh -oh. um, Everybody knows you're such a great dancer. You have oh, an no. innate rhythm. Yeah. You. you can see it. It's on the YouTube. Oh, no. 
In fact, because of you, Papaya Dance has gone global. <laughs> truly, That's truly. Eddie Manzano. Oh. <laughs> no, but, that, but it's gone global because of you. And, and uh, what we did was we pulled our minds together. We said we should make her dance, but this time it's going to be different. Uh -oh. It's going to be a, 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 dancing through a song we named after you. Wow. Inspired by you because of you. And wow. this is what... Uh, a title of which is the double K dance. Like the double okay. K. So of course, going to show K. me the dance dance. No, the, the dare is this one. Uh -oh. uh, since it's your song, right. of course, double K stands for Christy Kenny. Right. Uh, we will have you choreograph and come up with your own dance step. Okay. But we will give you ample time, Excellent. maybe two or three minutes. Good. <laughs> commercial. Yeah. Great. So that you can come, come up, up with, with the concoct something uh, during the commercial. When we get back. It's, it's going to be double K <laughs> dance with Christy Kenny. The <laughs> Woo! Okay, my own dance step. Yes, you guys yes.